Okay, guys, uh, now it's time to see what our six-figure business looks like. Basically, in this video, I'm going to really kind of give you the formula for success that, uh, you know, my wife and I have actually been using for, for quite some time now that's really helped us uh, have a lot of success in pretty much anything that we join now because uh, we kind of understand certain fundamental things that we have to have in, in place for everything that we're promoting online. So, uh, so again, this video is going to be just talk, get, just giving you the formula. Then we're going to be going into some other action steps in terms of create creating a few cool things here and uh, uh, to really help you do some some major things in your business. So let's just go ahead and get started. So, what our six figure business looks like now. So uh, this is pretty much how it begins typically for me and my marketing. Um, normally I'm promoting on Facebook and social media and things of that nature. I use a lot of different types of media, um, you know, promotional tools like, like videos. Of course I use a lot of videos. Uh, I use a lot of pictures, but for the most part, I use a lot of videos, right? And, uh, and typically if I'm posting something on Facebook or whatever, uh, typically the first, the beginning stage is the video that they see of me talking about whatever, whether it's an invitation to, to join a webinar whether it's an invitation to take a look at some information that I just came across, whatever it is, is typically I want them to see me first versus what I'm promoting. Where most people, when they're promoting, you typically want them to see the business first, then you. Well, that's the wrong way to do it online in 2015, 2016, 2017, and beyond, right? It's all about relationships, right? It's all about connecting with different people. So you can't show the information first then you you really got to leave with you lead with with your personality so you can start building that relationship and that's what i do and that's what's been so effective not only am i doing that but a lot of other top marketers are doing the same thing and they're just crushing it they're killing it money just coming in all from all kind of angles right and that's what you want in business so so typically for me it typically starts with the video i, I make a video sharing my experience um, uh, whatever it is that I'm promoting, really, I do that to brand myself for one and to build rapport, uh, with that individual. And at the end, and at the end of that video, I'm going to get, I'm going to give them a very strong call to action or CTA. I'm going to tell them exactly what they, what they're going to need to do, you know, after, uh, after they finish watching that information in the video that I'm doing, um, you know, click on the link or, uh, opt in, register for the webinar. What, what you, you see what I'm saying? I'm giving, I'm telling them exactly what they need to do at the end of that video. That's very, very, very key. You want to give a strong CTA or call to action after every video. And we're going to be doing some more training on that a little bit later on in, in the course. Uh, but I just want to kind of break this down for you. So, so from there, someone's on Facebook, they see my video, say, Hey, that's pretty cool. Uh, obviously they typically saw it, you know, again, uh, I promote that video on, on social media, Facebook, you know, whatever, YouTube, Instagram, whatever. Right. So I'm, I'm, that's how I'm getting people. Cause I'm actually physically promoting that video, uh, out there. One thing I see people do a lot of times they make videos, but they don't promote the video. They just make the video and think everybody's just going to start coming to them. Well, it doesn't work like that guys. You have to promote your content. You gotta be a master promoter, right? Uh, you make content, promote it. I always had the attitude when I first got started, when I made content because of what I learned from Miley system pro, when I made content, you were going to see my, my information. You were going to see my video. I was going to make sure that you saw it because I'm going to promote it like crazy. I'm gonna put it over here. I'm gonna put it over there and I'm gonna do it again tomorrow. And then I'm gonna put it over here. And I'm gonna put it over there and I'm gonna do it again the next day. And I'm gonna keep putting the information over and over and over and over and over again. You're gonna watch my video, right? That's how you promote, right? Just being very consistent in your actions. So that's what we do. We promote it on social media. Typically, when they on Facebook or whatever, and they see the link, you know, after watching the video, I say, hey, click on the link to opt in or whatever the information is. They typically come to a landing page here. Now, remember, I've already built the rapport with them because of the video. Right. So they're already connected. We've already connected. They want to see what I have to offer. So I have no problem typically with them opting in to get more information of whatever it is that I'm offering or, or sharing. Right. So they opt in here. Uh, this is this is this, this is actually a, um, you know, a funnelizer page, uh, you know, you know, powered by Miley System Pro. Just a typical, you know, uh, uh, 
you know, lead capture page has an image of me uh, looking at the uh, Las Vegas uh, Strip, you know, skyline back there. I'm actually here near the airport, I believe. Yeah, I'm actually over there by the airport. And, uh, and I just put that image there. Very interesting image. It really draws people in. It's because it's one, it's an image of me. And then of course, whatever I'm saying in the, uh, in the title, which we're going to talk a little bit more about that here shortly. Uh, so they opt in, they want to get more information when they opt in, let's say this is the, this is the prospect, the customer or whoever, right? They, they opt in. Now, the cool thing is that once they're opt in, they're, they're checking out the website or checking out the additional videos or whatever it is, I, you know, that they're looking to look at based off of what I shared in the actual video. So they opted in. So now they're on the content or whatever it is that I'm offering. So they're checking that out. Now here's the cool thing. So even though they're checking out that information, I, I just sent them an email, right? You know, in the, in the email, typically the first one is usually, Hey, this is Steve. I saw that you went to my website earlier today, man, some pretty cool stuff, huh? Hey, did you get a chance to check out that video that was on page number two, man? That was pretty crazy, huh? I mean, um, I'm pretty much just kind of talking like that. Hey, you know, just, just checking again, just make sure that, Hey, did you have any questions about what you saw on my website today? Question mark. So typically my emails are, are usually like that. Matter of fact, you've probably seen that when we act, when you actually created your, your autoresponder, you probably looked at some of those messages, you know, I'm really trying to engage with them. Now, here's the thing though, they're going to, you know, she's going to get that email today sometime, right? Pretty much right after they opt in. Well, tomorrow, send her another email automatically. That's the power of my, my autoresponder. It's going to send another email. Hey, Steve again. And this is just random guys. So, so you know, don't, don't take this word for word, but this is just random to kind of give you an idea of what, what the autoresponder is doing after they opted in on my lead capture page. So second email is pretty much the same thing. Hey, this is Steve again. Hey, just checking up on you. You know, I know there's a lot of information on my page, you know, just real quick. Didn't hear from you yesterday. Did you have any, uh, did you have any questions about what you saw? You know, I'm just at, typically I'm just asking questions. You know, sometimes I might give a little bit more information, but for the most part, I'm trying to engage with this individual. Right. And a lot of times they respond to those questions. Right. Cause that's really what I'm doing. I'm trying to make that connection, trying to bridge that gap between her not knowing who I, who I am and me knowing more about her. Right. And so, because if we can connect more, the odds of her wanting to buy or connect with me in business are way higher than her just, you know, just trying to sign up with a total stranger, right? It makes sense because she's seen my videos. Now she's getting emails from me. So I'm building that relationship. You see, you see how that works. So she's still going to continue to get emails over and over and over for a certain amount of time. And, and, and when she's doing that, now typically remember this, when people opt into a page, whether you're selling your, your business opportunity, whether you're selling a product or service that they, 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 they typically don't sign up on the first exposure anyway. Did you sign up on the first time you saw your business? I mean, like the first time you saw it, you signed up right then. Now there are some one-offs here and there, but for most people, they do not sign up on the first exposure. Typically it's five to seven times before they even make a decision. Yeah, I want to join or no, I don't want to join. Just for them to make a decision that they want to do it or don't want to do it takes about five to seven times for them to even come up with that decision. Well, so what do I do? I keep sending them emails. These are points of contact. So, you know, she actually opted in. I sent her an email. That's, 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 that's a point of contact. Matter of fact, if she watched my video the first time when she first was on Facebook and saw my video, that's a point of contact. But for them, for people to really make a financial decision on joining a business or buying a product, typically on the average and in marketing, it's five to seven times. That's where that autoresponder comes into play. And that's where the lead capture page comes into play because I got her email. So now I can continue to send her information. Does that make sense? So that formula guys has paid us a lot of money and still paying us today, right? So that's our six figure sales funnel. So the main thing guys is if you follow this process here, which we're going to talk a lot about this here in the next several videos. So this, I wanted to kind of give you a broad overview of, of how this really looks in terms of building your business. So, you know, so again, it's all about building your email list. So a sales funnel allows you to build your email list. So if your op people are opting in every single day into your different funnels that you create sales funnels or lead capture pages, 
um, you're going to continue to build your list. It also builds your relationship with your subscribers. So even though they're getting emails over and over, you're building your, your relationships with that individual or individuals. Uh, and, and of course, this is the formula that can build you a six figure business. If you're, if you're wanting a six figure business, these are some of the things that you'll have to do, uh, uh to really get to that point. Um, and, and, and there, and again, there's other ways, different things. Uh, but if you're wanting more long-term success, no matter what you do, uh, I, I love what, I love that we actually adopted this method because now anytime we join anything, whether it's a new MLM, a new business opportunity, a new product or service that we're promoting, we never have to really go look for anybody. I have a list of tens of thousands of people and all I have to do is just send a message. But here's the thing though, back in 2012, I had zero, nobody on my list, nothing, right? Um, and from learning from, you know, learning from these top, you know, expert marketers, you know, of course, with my lead system pro really taught me really what to do. So, you know, I remember getting my first, my first email, you know, first lead, I guess you can say, and I remember the second one. And I remember when we had about a hundred and I remember when we had about, a, I remember when we had like just 500 names and emails. I remember when we had a thousand names and emails, guys, that was only like three years ago. Okay. But we, but here's the thing. We started with one, then we had two, then we had three, then we had five, then we had 20, then we had 50, then we had a hundred, and then we had a thousand, then we had 10,000. You see, you see how it goes? We all start with one. Everybody does. Everybody starts with one. And here's the difference because those aren't leads that I purchased. Those were actually people that opted in to my content wanting more information so they know who i am that's the difference versus if you go out and just buy some leads they don't know who you are anybody ever, you know i hear people all the time say well steve i bought some leads but every time i call them they're hanging up they want they want to know how i got their name and email they're very hostile and thing yeah because those companies are just recycling those names and emails they just recycle them so you buy them and then they sell the same names and emails to this person and to that person. So they got all these people contacting them all the time. And so they're like, man, I should have never opted in on that page because I got like 15 people, different people calling me every day, pitching me some kind of new opportunity, right? So the difference between me is that a lot of the people that opt in want to be connected with me to receive information. That's the difference. You know, uh, it, it makes a huge, I remember one time I sent out an email just to clean out my list, say, hey, if you don't want to receive any more emails from me at all, just go click here. This will opt you out of my list. If you don't want to receive no more, that was that was the email that I sent out. If you don't want to be on my list, click here to get off of it. I had people hitting me up. Oh, no, Steve, no, I want to stay on your list. I want to stay on your list, right? Because we built relationships with those individuals, right? That's what it's all about, guys. So, so it definitely does make a difference. Now, so how do you create your own sexy six-figure sales funnels? Well, well, uh, there's a lot of different tools, resources out there that you can do that on, right? Uh, uh, one in particular that I use a lot is uh, is Funnelizer, which is a, a tool within your back office of Miley System Pro. Uh, if you're a mastery membership, you'll see the access to that. Uh, matter of fact, let me show you here. Uh, this is just the front page of it. And what we're going to do on the next video, we're going to set up some funnels. I'm going to show you exactly how to set up some really cool funnels for your primary business, right? And uh, uh, you're definitely going to like what I'm going to have to share with you. So, because uh, that funnel, that process formula that I just shared with you has paid us hundreds of thousands of dollars, okay? And it consistently keeps coming in. Leads, sales, just success because of following that formula. So now it doesn't matter what we join, what we partake in, what we participate in, you know, what we decide to do, we always have people that we can share the information to that know who we are, that are hungry for more information. That's the difference. And once you start grasping that concept and start following this, It'll make a huge difference in your business. And because you're going through this training, you're going to follow it. And, and, but again, it wasn't overnight. It wasn't overnight for us. It took time, but it, it just momentum takes time to build. But once that momentum starts, it's hard to stop it. Hard to stop it. Right. And that's exactly what, what back to the basics is all about is getting you in position so you can start 
scaling up to that momentum. Okay, in the beginning, it's not going to be momentum in the beginning, but you're going to have to do certain actions consistently. And I'm going to show you what to do. That's why we're doing this course. But once you start doing that over and over and over again, you're going to start seeing that momentum start to compound on each other. And next thing you know, leads every day, sales every day, whatever. People hitting you up. I mean, you got to turn your phone off when you go to bed because your phone's always ringing. That's what it's about. I've got to get you to the position where people see you as a valuable person online and they're just dying to connect with you, dying to join your business, dying to be in business with you. So that's all I got for now, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. On the next video, no really no actions. I just really wanted to share some information with you real quick. But on the next video, we're going to make a sales funnel. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it using Funnelizer. You're going to love it. So we'll see you on the next video.